Hi guys, welcome to Rajshri Food. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar, and today let's go the Oriental way. Usually, when we think of Oriental food or Chinese food to be precise, we think of noodles, rice, or soup preparations. But today, let's pick one of those gems from the starter section: spring rolls. Let's start making the filling first. I've taken some cabbage. I'll cut this into long shreds or juliennes. This could be as thin as possible. After the cabbage, let's now move on to the carrots. For this, I'm going to peel the carrot and cut this again into juliennes. If you wish to watch juliennes of carrots along with other vegetables, you can also check a comprehensive video. The link to which is in the description box below. The vegetables are cut and ready. Let's start cooking them now. For this, let's take some oil in a pan, just like a tablespoon or so. While the oil is still heating up, let's add in the carrots. To this, the cabbage follows, and along with this, the star of this recipe, bean sprouts. Let's stir fry this on high flame. Once this mixture cooks on high flame for a minute or so, I'll reduce the flame and start adding in soy sauce. This is dark soya. Along with this, chili sauce. To this, I'll be adding in some salt. Mind you, add in little salt because soya also has a lot of salt. And finally, some freshly cracked black pepper. Give this a mix and allow this to cook. Till it's completely dried. At this stage, the mixture may start releasing a lot of moisture, but that's exactly how we want it. Keep stirring this and make sure the moisture dries completely. Just before the flame goes off, let's add in some sesame oil. A quick mix, and off goes the flame. Allow this to cool down completely to room temperature. While the filling of the spring roll is cooling, let's start making an accompanying dip, and this one is sweet chili dip. I'm taking some peeled garlic. I'm going to give this a quick bash, and after that, let's start chopping this finely. This goes straight in the fry pan. This is followed by chili flakes and sugar. I'll put the flame on and add in some water. While the water is still cold, I'll be adding in a little bit of refined flour or corn flour. This is just to thicken the sauce. A quick stir and make sure this is bubbling for the next three to five minutes. Off goes the flame and allow this to cool at room temperature. Well, alternately, this also tastes amazingly well while it's hot. The filling has cooled down and the sauce is also cooling down. In the interim, let's start making the spring rolls. I've taken these ready-made sheets of spring roll. Well, I'm just going to release a few sheets and start making the sticking glue. For which, I'm going to take some refined flour in a bowl, add some water, which is at room temperature, and make a thick paste so that this could be used as glue. While we are filling the spring rolls, do not forget to reserve the other sheets under a damp cloth. I'll pick a spoonful of this mixture and lay this right here. I'm going to cover this like that, pull this towards, and start rolling this like so. Apply this edible glue on the sides like so. Fold this inwards. And roll it like so. Make sure the ends and edges are completely sealed. Similarly, let's start making the rest of the spring rolls. The spring rolls are rolled and ready. Allow these to rest in the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes before we start frying. It's been roughly half an hour. The oil is moderately heated up. Let's start frying. Do not overcrowd the pan. Fry this on high flame because all we need to do is make the outsides nice, crisp, and golden brown.
The first batch is fried and ready. I'm transferring this on an absorbent tissue paper so that all the excess oil gets drained away. Similarly, let's start frying the other batch as well. The spring rolls are fried and ready. Now let's serve this with the accompanying sauce. For that, let's bring that back in action with a splash of some lemon juice. So here is your amazing starter, which could also double up as a party snack. Enjoy this with your loved ones and wait for what next the Bombay chef gets into your kitchen.